and that's final. Madeline, look. If it's me, I promise you. Oh, you flatter yourself. It has nothing to do with you. What was it, then? What made you change your mind? It was a silly impulse, and I thought better of it. I began to think. Those rehearsals. All day, all night. The work, the hours. For what? I'm perfectly happy as I am. Don't try to kid me. Why have you kept on practicing? Why have you kept at it day after day? So you could go to a fancy dress ball? I know you. This kind of thing isn't your dish. You belong in the theater. You need the theater as much as it needs you. Well, what's the use, Ted? You know I haven't got a chance. Oh, now we're getting down to it, huh? You're scared. Don't you know you can dance circles around those kids? You just have to keep dancing and dancing and dancing. At the jitters, that's all. The best dancer I ever knew. Come on, give me your hand. One, two, three, four. Left, right, left. That's it. Now, come on, let's go. Let it go. One, two, double it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. What's the matter? You tired already? Charming. Charming. I'll expect you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. And don't let anybody talk you out of it. Especially Prince Charming. Well, that was quite an exhibition. If you don't mind, Anson, I'd rather not go tonight. I've never asked anything of you before, Madeline. But this is one thing I think I have a right to ask. I couldn't bear it if you went back into the theater. I couldn't be a stage door, Johnny. Madeline, did you hear? Yes, I heard. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know, Anson. I just don't know. <laughs> 